My thoughts on Black Rob Passion. My thoughts on Black Rob Passion is really gut wrenching. That's I feel as if I'm a person that God has allowed to do so good that when I see the hurt and the pains of other people on Bad Boy and associated with that label, that motivates me to say something so I don't be deemed as a person who just made a bunch of money and turned a blind eye. I'm not going to be like the rest of the people around Puff that don't tell him he's wrong. I'm not going to be like the yes men around him that see him ruining people's lives and never tell him he's wrong. More people on here will tell me I'm wrong, but won't say anything to him. They'll judge my beliefs. They'll judge my Christianity and they'll say nothing to Puff. They'll say nothing about it. They'll say nothing about is a concert for Biggie and Biggie's own daughter couldn't get in. They'll say nothing about that. But his friends, but all of his friends got 50 and 60 tickets. We're done with your games. And I'm not going backwards. Even forgive me of that. That was a passionate statement. But what I'm basically saying is more people would critique me. And I, that's why I can't care about what you're thinking or be inconsiderate about what you're thinking because you don't care about the real truth. All you care is who got the money and you're going to follow whoever gets the money. So I'm going to show you something. And then after I'm done with him, the rest of them won't play with me. I'm, li I'm not like nobody that was on Bad Boy. I don't bow to Puff. I'm not beneath Puff. Puff is beneath me. And I'm out. And this ain't no this ain't no violent outrage. This is a righteous outrage. And we're about to see. We're about to see. Let's see. I guarantee you God beat the devil every time. They just haven't ran into somebody strong enough to stand against it. But guess what? You finally found one. And I guarantee you after I'm done, the rest of them won't play with me. Shout out to m Rec. Shout out the lovely T. Yeah, shout out to Onan TV. Ayo Canseco. Say cheese. I'm going to go the opposite direction just to show you I don't need y'all. Who else should I be shouting out? Put them on the screen so nobody say I forgot about them doggy diamonds. Uncensored hip hop. Not trying to hear what somebody who never lived in a neighborhood thinks about my rap. You don't matter. You don't matter. It's like listening to people who never box tell you about boxing. You don't matter. Now I'll go to I'll go to drink champs. And academics later. But right now I want to talk to the people people. And I can't take a, um, academics out of that. He's for, he, he, he's for the people for what I know. I don't know him well enough. So academics please don't take that any kind of way. Because I'm not about lying on anybody. Or saying anything about anybody. That ain't 100% accurate. That's what I want people to know about me. I Even if I'm hurt, I would not say anything about you. But if we're going to talk, we're going to tell the truth. You're not going to keep playing with my name and trying to say weird things while getting paid by Puff so you can say the things you're saying on the radio. We know you revolt TV. Yeah. And anybody come on here 
or you, you say one silly thing, you're out of here. We're not even going to tolerate you on here. You're going to be blocked. And I'll go on a million dollars worth of game. And there's other places like that. Math Hoffa, even one of those. I, I'm okay with people having their own opinion. But stop lying on my name like it's going to make you good with Puff, nigga. Stop it. You trying to go against me ain't going to make them like you no more than what it is. And for the people that say, well, well, why did you go and do this? And why did you go do that? I'll tell you why I went and did it. Each time I came back to music, something was promised to me that wouldn't happen. So then when it didn't happen, I would leave again because y'all y'all niggas is lying. And that's why I'm passionate about what I'm saying. And realistically, I don't care if nothing changed. I just want the truth to be known. I don't need music to make money. I don't. So that's why my words can be free. I don't need the money. I could use the money, but I don't need the money. And that's the problem that, that he has with me. He can't control me. He never could. Y'all just didn't know that. Go talk to Kuda. Go talk to Charlie Mack. Go talk to people who work close with me. I was never the one he could control. Somebody said, well, what if y'all get cool after this? If we get cool after this, it's going to be because I'm my own man. I'm not showing up to, to be nothing other than my own man. And I'm not going to let you hold something over my head so you can feel more comfortable about yourself. So we'll call this Take My Phone Thursdays. <laughs> take My Phone Thursday. This is Take My Phone Thursday radio. And on my Take My Phone Thursday, I wouldn't just use, I wouldn't just use or talk about this situation. Because I feel, a, I, I have views and I have ways that I think about things too. Just like people can give their opinion of me, they better be able to take my opinion back of them. Let's get back on a good vibe so you know I ain't tripping. What's up, Philly? What's up, Eloina? What's up, Edna? Let me talk to the people that talk to me. What's up, laid back? And again, I don't mind if you ask me a hard question. Just don't be disrespectful because I have things to say. And you better believe in 20 years, if I've never spoke, I do have a view. I do have a vantage point. But everything is for an appointed time. Everything is not to be said when people think I should say it. So I hope you guys are getting that. And somebody said, well, why, we, why, do, you, why do you say it now? We're going to talk about that on the interview. <laughs> I'll say that for the interview. What else? Take Your Phone Thursdays. You, you're tuned in right now to Take Your Phone Thursday. Take his phone. That is not Mace. So every time you see somebody kissing up to him, you know they're part of the problem too. You notice how all I'm talking about is doing artists right. And, and the people that whine about being done right in music, they said nothing about it. 
because they can't say nothing about it. They're going to mind their business. So when it comes back to their situation, we should mind our business. That's right. We should mind our business. If you're going to help, if you're going to support Diddy and rob another artist, then we should mind our business when it's your goal. And from this point on, should not anybody complain about Diddy and business. We all know what it is. So there you have it. I don't have to talk about it no more. You heard it from my voice here. If you go party with people putting stuff in folks' drinks, then that's your business if you already know they're doing that. I'm going to mind my business. And I'm not saying it's cool for anybody to put anything in anybody's drink, male or female. What I am saying is that once we know who people are, Let's stop supporting what they're doing. And like I told y'all before, you know where I stand. I answered everything you need to answer.